Hi everyone, my name is Kay Ramos from Well Journaled Vlog and welcome to my channel where I share tips to help you gain clarity and purpose as you get closer to Jesus. So today I am so excited to share with you a Bible study method that I have been doing lately during my daily quiet time with God. So in this video, I mentioned that I am doing a slow reading on the Bible this year. So this method of study is really great for beginners. By the way, I also shared different methods of Bible study in my previous videos. So I will link them down or I will link down the playlist below so you guys can check it out in case you want to. Before that, let me explain the method first. Then we will do a study together in the end. I call this one a note-taking method because you are simply taking notes and forming questions as you read. What's good about this method is you can start with only your Bible and you may not even need advanced tools like study Bible, commentaries, or other tools that I mentioned in this video. Uh, it's because the main objective here is to gain familiarity with the content of the Bible and also, of course, to establish habits that will help you fall in love with reading it. As a teacher, we were taught about Bloom's Taxonomy of Cognitive Development and it's basically a hierarchical order of learning goals and we use it for categorizing educational goals. Oh my gosh, what is that? <laughs> what did I just say? So how is that relevant to our Bible study? Well, stay with me for a while and you'll eventually get my point. So the original Bloom's Taxonomy looks like this. But it was revised in 2001, but the concept remains the same. In teaching, we use this as a guide in order to formulate objectives on what we are aiming to accomplish in learning session. So let's say I taught my students how to bake a cake. Then I don't expect them to create their own recipe right away if I did not teach the basics. So you could see here that the lowest level is remembering or in the old Bloom's taxonomy, it's called knowledge. So it includes recall of facts and other basic concepts. It basically says that in order for you to be able to understand, apply, analyze, or evaluate something, it is necessary to have some basic knowledge about it. Like how can you form a good judgment if you don't know the background information, right? You can't just make a judgment if you don't know what's going on in the entire context. So the aim here is to eventually create or produce something from what you've learned. So that is the highest level. So in education, we have the what we call the lower order thinking skills and the higher order thinking skills. So this right here, the three lowest level, we, they fall under lower level thinking skills. That doesn't mean that you don't think at all. No, it just means that it's easier to uh, create learning objectives than fall under it because it's easy to recall information. Think about it. When you were in school, it's easy to memorize things, right? But that is not the pinnacle of learning. So you will know that a student was able to learn something effectively once the student was able to create something out of those basic information. So that is why the aim here is to eventually create or produce something based from what you've learned. So in Bible reading, of course, the aim is to be able to produce something from what you've learned during your Bible reading. I hope you're getting my point. So the same again with the Bible study. We cannot simply claim verses or we cannot judge people that we listen to if they're whether they're trustworthy or not, if we don't know the basics. Another thing in this Bible study method is our aim is to grow in Bible literacy in a way that will help us retain what we read and what we learn. So it will also help you ask better questions in order to help you with a more advanced Bible exploration. Because sometimes we don't know what we don't know. I'm not saying that we only focus on the facts or remembering information, but like I've shown based on the model, it will be a lot easier for us to form applications and wise judgments or create something out of it if we know the basics. So how do we really do this? So I do this in several ways. 
I jot down important events, details, key people that stands out to me during or while reading. Another way is I form questions and reflections as I read. So basically engaging and interacting with the text. Now, of course, I don't understand everything that I read. And also sometimes my reflection or my interpretation is not accurate because I'm still learning, right? That's why when I come across a confusing part, I take note of that so I can further look into it eventually. And then that's the time I will devote more time, longer time. And of course, I will have to use more advanced tools like commentaries, study Bible, concordance, and all other reputable references. This is the same method that I used to study Matthew, Mark, and Luke. So right now, I'm in John. And I was able to come up with a Bible study guide that is filled with hundreds of questions and prompts. And I realized it's amazing how much you can get just by really digging into the scripture. I actually shared it with my sister and she finds it helpful as well. So if you are interested in a Bible study guide, let me know in the comment section below. So with that being said, let us do a Bible study together.
Hopefully this video helps you in your Bible study. Thank you so much for watching. And if this video inspires you or you find value in this, I would love it if you like and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to follow my other social media platforms where I share other stuff as well. Again, this is Kay Ramos. I appreciate you being here today. See you guys again next time. Bye!